Hello everyone, this is Vikram and welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll see how to expose our locally running web applications or web servers using public URLs so that anyone on the internet can access your locally running applications using these URLs. Generally, when we run our applications locally, we'll be able to access the application in our local systems only that is using the local host followed by the port on which your application is running. So using this in the browser, we'll be able to access our applications. But when we want to share this application or to be accessed by anyone on the internet, so we have to deploy our applications in any of the public clouds like AWS, GCP, Azure, etc. But in this video, we'll see how to expose our applications which are running locally through public URLs even without deploying our applications in any of the public clouds. So we'll be using a technique called tunneling using applications such as ngrok to securely expose our locally running applications over the internet. We'll see how to expose our pod running in the local Kubernetes cluster on the internet using ngrok. Let's say that there are two developers, developer A and developer B. And now developer A wants to show his application to developer B. In this case, the developer A has to deploy the application in any of the public clouds such as AWS, GCP or Azure so that he will be getting a public URL which he can share it to developer B to access his application. So the application can be simple Apache web server serving a static HTML page. It can be any of the applications running as Docker container or Kubernetes pod or it can be any URL such as local webhook. In this video, we'll see without deploying your application in any of the public clouds, how to get a public URL using applications such as ngrok so that you can share that URL with anyone who wants to access your application over the internet. So what is ngrok? ngrok is a utility to expose any locally running applications over the internet through publicly accessible URL with automatic HTTPS. Even ngrok works behind a NAT or any other restricted networks. It does by creating secure tunnels between your locally hosted applications and between the ngrok servers. So all you have to do is you have to run your application locally and have ngrok create a secure tunnel for you. In simple terms, it provides a publicly accessible web URL to your locally hosted application that can be either a standalone application such as Apache web server or it can be a simple Docker container or it can be a Kubernetes pod. So it has both free and paid versions whereas paid version has few enhanced features such as custom domains, whitelisting IPs and support etc. And ngrok provides a real-time web UI so that you can inspect all the HTTP traffic running through your tunnels. So this is how ngrok works. So all you have to do is you have to start a secure tunnel on any of your local port and ngrok makes sure that it creates a secure tunnel. So that will work even behind a NAT. So once you get the secure tunnel, so ngrok is going to provide you uh, both HTTP and HTTPS URLs. So using that, you can access your locally running applications on the internet. So this is the overall process. So first what you have to do is you have to run your local app that will listen on some port let's say that port 8080 and then you have to invoke the ngrok executable that creates a secure tunnel between your locally hosted application and the ngrok servers so once you get the publicly accessible url from the ngrok server so you can share that url with any of your colleagues so who would be interested in checking your application on the internet so once the user hits the url on the internet so the request will be redirected to your ngrok servers which in turn redirect the request back to your local application running on a specific port and this is how the dashboard looks like once you log in into ngrok so you'll get an option to download for your operating system so it will uh, directly detect the underlying operating system and it will give you the download option and once you download it you have to extract it and then you have to connect to your ngrok servers through an auth token which is specific to your account and there are many alternatives to ngrok so these are some of them you can go to this git repository which has more than 20 ngrok alternatives so first what we'll do is we'll try to log in and get the ngrok token and also download the ngrok executable so this is the ngrok official page so you'll be getting public urls for any of your locally running applications so what we have to do is you have to go to this talk to see how to invoke the ngrok binary 
so after um, you know logging into your engrox servers through an auth token so you have to create a tunnel on any of the ports mentioned here so first what we'll do is we'll try to click on login and see how to download it how to download the engrox so i already have an account so i'm directly logging uh, logging into it so once you log in you'll be able to get this download option so i'll be downloading for windows so you have to download for your respective operating system and then you have to extract it so i already downloaded and extracted into one of the folders so inside this folder there is nrock executable and i also have a pod.yaml file so to deploy the pod so in case you already have an application running on some a uh, port such as 8080 or 90 or 80 so you don't have to deploy this pod and i also have my local minikube cluster up and running so if i just check the pods so i have one pod so i'll be first deleting the existing pod so this is from the previous deployment so i'll be deleting the existing pod and then i'll open a new tab and see how to create a tunnel first so first what we have to do is we have to go to the directory where we have extracted the engrock and this is the engrock executable so if i have to check the help section so you can just invoke the engrock executable using engrock.exe so first what i'll do is so uh, after logging in i'll be able to get the auth token so if you go back to your login page so this is your token so i can directly copy this command from here and since i am in windows i have to use dot slash to invoke engrock binary so it is engrock.exe in my case so auth token and the token so the authentication token is successfully uh, saved to this location so this is my pod manifest file so this pod is listening on 5000 so which is basically the container port and this is the container image basically this is a web application written in python so what i'll do is i'll just deploy this pod using kubectl apply hyphen f pod dot yaml and then if you check the status of pod so the pod is in running state so the container inside it is running on 5000 so if you want to access this pod there are multiple ways so one such way is using kubectl port forward the other way is using the services so i'll be using kubectl port forward because i wanted to establish a temporary session kubectl port forward and the name of the port which is connected city and then i wanted to redirect all my local traffic on port 8080 to 5000 which is container port of the port so once i uh, start the session so i can just go to my browser and see localhost 8080 so basically this is my application but if you see the url is localhost so that means i only can access it so if someone has to see it either they have to be in my network or i have to share them public url so in case it is not possible now because i'm not running the application in any of the public clouds so now what i'll do is i'll create a tunnel on uh, between my local machine and the engrox servers so what i have to do is so i have to invoke the engrox binary and then use http and then port on to which i have to open the tunnel so my application is running on 8080 so i'll be using 8080 so there are a lot of options so you can see the help section as well so my application is running on 8080 so i'll be opening the tunnel so the tunnel is open so the session status is online and if you see uh, the engrock has generated two urls one is http and the other one is https both are redirecting to my localhost 8080 so i can take any of this public url and then i can share with uh, with anyone to access my application so here i am just running it in my own machine so if you see i'll be i'm able to access the application so similarly i can share this url with anyone and anyone on the internet can access my application and now if you see the log output here uh Engrock is also exposing the web interface so that will show the real time traffic through my tunnel so it is running on port 4040 on my local host so you can see these are the get request and this is uh, the overall status of the tunnel so the status of the tunnel is basically online and this is the url and once you hit the url this is where the request is getting forwarded to so let's see how to uh, let's see if i uh, break this port forwarding to my pod 
whether I'll be able to access the application or not. So now if you so here I'm not getting the output because this URL is resolving to my localhost colon 8080 but from localhost 8080 it is not redirecting to my container port which is 5000 because I just uh, broke that uh, uh, port forward command. So this is how you expose your locally running applications on the internet using ngrok.